What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style, Brian Sack, with another edition of the NRW <laughs> Checkpoint. Brian, how you doing today, man? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? I'm good, man. I cannot complain. It's another day. We get to talk one of our favorite subjects, right. video games. So let's go with first up this week is a game that has a very interesting name. Um, <laughs> well, the name of this game is Gord. Okay. Who, yeah, who names a game Gord? Uh, <laughs> but it's on uh, current gen systems, PS5, Xbox Series S, X, and PC. It's a strategy game from developer Covenant.dev, which is an interesting name, and published by Team 17. Gord is a single player at, excuse me, adventure strategy. So that's a different interesting genre, adventure strategy. Uh, right. To survive, you must build, but to prevail, you must conquer the darkness beyond the gates. In this dark fantasy world, you must complete quests while managing a populace whose personal stories and well-being decide the fate of your tribe. So it's a little bit of uh, mm-hmm. kind of, it reminds me of, cult of the lamb as far as like okay. keeping your, your followers and everything happy yes, sort of thing yes. but it seems like more of a action oriented sort of feel to it as well i'm interested and we are watching the trailer for this so i'm interested in seeing what the game looks like me too i'm like a, uh i don't know that that style of gameplay when it has like a little uh i don't know a management simulation going on in there right I tend to like those. So yeah, yeah it I'm sounds very interesting. Right. Very interested about the execution for it. We'll see later. Yes, we will. Next up, we have Tower of Fantasy. This is only on a PS5. It's also on PC, but it's been on PC for a while. It's okay. an MMO from Hotter Studios. That's a cool name. I work at Hotter Studios. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool. And uh, Level Infinite is the publisher. Embark together on your fantasy adventure. Set hundreds of years in the future on the distant planet of Aida. The shared open world RPG anime influenced sci fi adventure Tower Fantasy is now officially available on Steam. This is from the Steam version. Okay, that was a mouthful of a whole bunch of tropes. <laughs> right. Sci fi adventure open world RPG anime influence. And right. So basically, it means a video game. Right. <laughs> A video game. A video game, right. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it made it over to the PlayStation off of Steam, so it must have something. Yeah, it must must have Man. a fan base that gave them enough money to report it. So right. Hmm. So next up we have what I don't know if it's 30XX or okay. 3000 XX. I don't know how you read that. Maybe the trailer gave us some sort of uh hint as to how to pronounce the title. Oh, okay. That's yeah, on the yeah. Switch and PC, an action game. Now, apparently, this game had been in open access since 2020 or 2021. So it's it's been a while. Uh, for it to get to a full release is an action game from battery staple games was developer and publisher jump mm-hmm. shoot and slash your way through 30 xx the roguelite here we go with roguelites again um, <laughs> action platformer you can play with a friend explore lush ever-changing okay. worlds they mix precise platforming with favorite combat destroy fearsome guardians master unique powers rediscover the thousand years you've lost or we've lost so apparently this you know, is like the, is he the second or the third in a series of games there's a, a 20xx as well and apparently before okay. the main game they had like a mario maker um kind of sub game of this as well over on the pc so uh i'm assuming it has a reasonable fan base yeah i would assume so as well and i'm glad to see uh some of these like pandemic games like actually you know coming back around and yeah. having an official launch because that's you know that's Baldur gates three story as well oh yeah yeah that that's just been doing gangbusters and people loving that game right right I'm interested to check this one out though. I've I'm 
I still haven't found a rogue like to pull me in. I think I'm gonna get Hades, Hades a try. But I liked Hades. I can I can okay. see the appeal of Hades. When I was on, on Game Pass, I played it a couple of times. I definitely understand the appeal of that game specifically. It's a fun game to play. Okay. And you don't really mind starting over at the beginning and working way through. It's 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 really good level design, really I wouldn't say really engaging story, but it's a story that keeps you involved and just the graphics are really fun as well. Okay. Well, hopefully 30XX, you know, is similar. Yes. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So next, next up, th- and this is the game I've been seeing all over my YouTube algorithm because I guess okay. it's a major release for the um the week because everybody's doing a review this. of it. Uh, <laughs> Atlas Fallen. I keep want to say Atlas Falls. Uh, like the Yeah. For, okay. Yes, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, dropping on the PS5, Xbox Series, S, X, and PC. It's an action game from developer Deck 13 Interactive, publisher Focus Entertainment. Rise from the dust and glide the sands of a timeless land filled with ancient dangers, mysteries, and fragments of the past. Hunt legendary monsters with perform, excuse me, powerful and sand-infused weapons and ability and spectacular superpower combat so i'm definitely interested in seeing a trailer for this one yeah that kind of sound i don't know you prince said saying yeah yeah, I was just saying, yeah. You, said, you said sand and i went straight to prince of persia so yeah i'm exactly. definitely interested in that yeah i want to see that you know the last game it's, it's a short week um there yeah. were a couple other games that i omitted like stray drop for xbox so i'm like okay Straight yeah. came out last year where we talked about that. And it was like one. And that's in Game Pass, Pass, right? No, it's actually not in Game Pass. It, what? They, a lot of people talked about that should have been, but it's not. Yeah. It was, on, um, it was on PlayStation Plus like a month after. Well, like the release. And then right. once it came off, it was like, oh, you got to pay for it if you <laughs> if you didn't get it during the Wait, PlayStation Plus. It was only for a month? Yeah, it was one of the PlayStation Plus like free games. And then after that month was over and it transitioned into like a pay game or whatever. It was like, if you didn't oh, get it during PlayStation plus, then that you blows. Know. Yeah. I it mean, was like I one would... of those games to like, kind of. Yeah. I remember. Off. Yeah. It was like showing off, you know, how capable the PS five is. So they put it on PlayStation plus like for the first month that it was out. And then if you didn't catch it, it was like, okay, it's only like 15 bucks or something like that. I didn't realize it was only there for a month. I, the one thing about Game Pass, I like mm-hmm. most times games are there at the minimum three months. A lot of times, most games are there like six months. Mm-hmm. So, some some have never left. Like Trek to uh, Yomi is still there. It's been right. a good year plus. You know, there are <laughs> a lot of games that are just still there. Uh, so it's interesting. I didn't realize it was pretty much there and gone real quick. But yeah, Stray is not on Game Pass, but that is. Uh, that did or is releasing this week on the Xbox. So, you know, it's not exactly a full price game. So, you know, check it out. We ain't going to cover it here because we covered it back on the PlayStation. Right. But this one has a similar title, but a whole different premise. I mean, uh, last up this week is a game that we had to watch the trailer for. You'll okay. understand why after I say the title. Stray <laughs> Gods, the role playing musical. Okay. This definitely. Yeah, we had to watch the trailer right? for this. Because <laughs> what is this? Right, exactly. So this is on everything PS4, 5, Xbox uh, One, Series S, X, Switch, and PC. Obviously, it says role-playing in the title. It's a role-playing game, RPG, mm-hmm. uh, from Summer Fall Studios as the developer and Humble Games as the publisher. Gods, Romance, Murder, Musical Numbers. Players okay. grace in a world where Greek gods live in hiding among us. Change your fate as you draw friends, foes, and lovers into song, using your powers of musical persuasion to unravel the mystery of the last muse's death. Now, that right there has me interested. Me you know, too. Always love Greek mythology. And to, Definitely. I think that's one of the things that really always draws me in when i hear games like this especially when they're dealing like with gods Mm -hmm. is that they find new ways of utilizing that familiar subject matter we talked about reverie a couple weeks ago Mm -hmm. and how they used gods and like 
and all that stuff too in a totally different way than what we've seen before. So I'm very interested to see what Stray Gods has to offer us. Speaking of which, well. our first trailer <laughs> is Stray Gods. Let's see you on the role playing musical. Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be. Calliope? Yeah, oh, so sorry. Yeah. It almost like a comic book a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it does. Didn't you know that you write of Dragon Age. You've been given powers you don't understand. Okay, original song. You say you didn't kill Calliope. You have one week to prove it. What do I do? Start singing. So sorry you had to be here for this. I'm in the dark too as you're hearing this. But someone is dead and I'm losing my head. Like the goat said, this is my time, time to shine. It's not a simple matter to kill an idol. You want answers? Fight for them. How could you throw that gauntlet at me? Could your heart shrivel any further? You abandoned me to a terrible fate. This is not gonna be enough! True magic is a different and older power. Ready to face the music? Only you can decide. Lost in a moment. Lost in a soul. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. Best friend yeah, to be, right? Lost in a moment. Lost in a soul. I wish I knew where I fit. Surely your life is just beginning. Lost in a moment. Very soon. Lost in a moment. The idols will be no more. Lost in a moment. No, that looks awesome. That does look pretty dope. <laughs> that man, that's crazy. I've never seen a game like that before. No, that's crazy. Um, at the time of recording last week's episode of Star Trek: Strange New Worlds was a musical episode. <laughs> okay, I was so surprised how much I liked it. Mm. It reminds me so much of 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 this. Yeah. Okay, it, I can see it, that. Yeah, it's it. It was really cool. And this looks really. I am very much excited to play this. This is and, uh, and this, this is something that needs to be dropped into a subscription service straight up. Because okay. I think this is one of those games that needs to find an audience. And I don't I don't think yes. traditional gamers would just up up and buy this. This needs to be discovered. And yeah. uh, something like Game Pass or PlayStation Plus would be a perfect place for this to drop. Yeah. Absolutely. I think um because they definitely trying to target the uh the theater community at least that's what i'm picking up yeah i don't it's know like, about just theater community just people enjoy musicals yeah and that's just it's <laughs> it's fun and exciting because it's something though so different right and that's what yeah, got me. I'm, I'm not even I'm looking at it oh musical person like as far as like being like i guess i was in guys and dolls in high school but <laughs> <laughs> and once upon a mattress but that's what we did anyway <laughs> um, but i've never been like oh i want to watch musicals right, and right, right. I, I i musicals are not my cup of tea in, in many respects but yeah. this is just as far as from a gameplay aspect it is something unique it is something different and Very that fresh. is what i'm like oh yeah and fresh and like this is why i want to play and then it takes familiar characters like the Greek gods that we all know. Mm. It puts them into a no, totally new situation we've never seen them before. Agree. That I like. Yeah. Only thing I, that would, because the story, well, not even because I don't really even know what's going on. I was gonna try to draw a comparison between this and uh, God of War, but only that's just because. At some point in the series, like Kratos becomes pretty much the replacement for uh, Ares because right. he kills him and takes his powers or whatever. And then it was like, now you're the God of War. And then 
you know, Zeus is like, you killed my brother. But I don't know what's going on with this story. Either way, it looks very, very interesting. This is like part of a kind of a murder mystery as well. You got to prove you didn't yeah. kill Calliope. Looks like, and it's only 30 bucks. Okay. That's even great. Yeah. That's, that's even better. I wonder yeah, how much real. gameplay time is because I could see on the screen when they were doing like the the singing or whatever mm -hmm. and a little wheel at the bottom. I'm assuming you turn it towards which way you want the story to go as far as what the character sings and things, which right. I've, that's also very unique in itself. That sort of normally, uh, that sort of uh, mass effect is sort of uh, right. dialogue. Sort of weird, or even more so the Telltale Games dialogue sort of thing. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know we we are definitely both high on <laughs> straight guard. <Definitely>, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get the ball rolling or keep the ball rolling at, at a high level. Next okay. up, we have Gord. Now, Gord products is not yet rated. Let me because what My is Gord? My king, our steward rules a populace who call themselves. The tribe of the dawn. Was this the roguelike one? Yeah, no, no, this is one with the uh, village men. They are primitive people. people. They gather wood and reeds to build their structures and use clay and bog iron to improve them. All right, city building. Okay. Right. Like all simple folk. They're compelled by survival to leave the comfort of the village. Many dream of adventure, but the surrounding woods are uninviting. Okay. Death and pain await in the wild. Evil creeps and crawls through the dark recesses of their lives. This is not what I expected. Me either. Your subjects are only human. They're like, and as oh, such, their minds and bodies can be broken. In trying times, the people pray for aid. They have a witch who whispers powerful spells. Blessing the tribe's people. Or cursing their foes. But even divine assistance may not be enough. They can only watch as their wooden settlement crumbles to dust. One after another. Right back. This settlement you speak of what do they call it okay that's the name of the settlement okay that looks intense it does that's a great trailer it, it, it was i kind of picking up like um frost punk vibes as far as the the city building kind of aspect mm -hmm. the, the city management portion but then there's also like a little bit of like a little, like not necessarily turn based, but it's some strategic battle there yeah. as well. Kind of making me feel like uh, civilization a little bit. Even if Frostpunk has some, like, they didn't have no combat. They did have combat in there, but it was like automated. Either way, this looks very interesting. I agree. I can't say I've seen a game like quite like this one. Yeah, it's, it's very unique. Got a lot going on. Yeah. Perfect way of putting it. There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't mind it though. It's, it looks no. uh, interesting. It's like it got like a bit of a learning curve, but um, very much something that I think people will enjoy, especially if they're into those kind of like, can you survive what the game is about to throw at you kind of situations, right. which those can either drive you up a wall or make you <laughs> make you really happy about um the kind of person you are and. In stressful situations, right? Exactly, exactly. Cool. So, so far we two for two. Let's go yeah. for the third one. Let's look at Atlas Fallen. Let's see how far how far they fell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have kept in line. I have fought your kind before. 
And it only led to ruin. I am the order of this world. I am its rule. You may think you have. Oh, power. this the. Okay. Why do I get forsaken vibes with that? Yeah, I can see that. You're struggling. You look like Reaper from Overwatch. This combat is looking is looking like what I like to what I like to do. This is another Souls like game. I will bury you like the rest of them. Looks nice. Looks really nice. It does. It does. I'm interested in you know what? Yeah. See what they're talking about price wise. Add this to the list. Something about that is telling me to play. I don't know. Yeah, it, no, it looks that's a great trailer. It shows some really good spots. Yeah. It, it makes you want to play. It does. I'm down. What is that called? Atlas Fall. Atlas Fallen. So it said May 16th. Is that because it was on bucks. P Fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, okay. They got some decent reviews on Steam, IGN, and Open Critic. Okay. I'm gonna look into that. I'm I surprised it's only forty nine ninety nine. I I would expect at least fifty nine. That means it's probably a short game. Yeah. That's fine though. Yeah, I was about to say I am not mad because it looked like. I am not one where I need this 100-hour <laughs> masterpiece or epic game that falls flat. Look, right. 10, 20 hours. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting my money's worth. Yeah. You know? well, yeah, once I'm like... <laughs> if it's a good <laughs> game, you know, give me 15, 20, 15, 20 hours, we could, we could, we good to go. Yeah. And once I start Googling to figure out like how far I am in the game, that's that's when I know I got my money's worth. Right. Once exactly. I start trying to find, I just beat this boss. How long till I get to the end? That usually mean they got me for my 60. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm interested. What's next? All right. So far, three for three. Last up, we have 3000 XX. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm still confused. <laughs> Like Mega Man, okay. I hope they're gonna tell us. I hope they're gonna tell us the name. Of it. Definitely Mega Man inspired. You can see it right there. They still didn't tell him how to pronounce. Let me see how. How do you pronounce this game? I don't know. It looked pretty good. It does. Definitely, definitely. Like I said, Mega Man vibes, which I'm not mad at. That's a very um, a dope franchise. I'm trying to see how you pronounce this because. It could be 30XX or is it 3000XX? I don't know. That's strange. Okay. Well, they, they, they won't tell me how to say it. Okay. Well, either way, um, that's dope. I like that. 
Oh, uh, they game, like I said, Mega Man through and through. I see it, you know, Mega Man X to be specific, because Zero's there. Um, I think uh, I like the roguelike element, and I guess based on what the trailer was saying, the roguelike ele- or mole is specifically for co-op. Did you is it, did you get that from the trailer? I'm not sure. I, I kind of get that, but based on the description, I feel like that's the, the way the game plays. Just through and through. Okay. Yeah, it seems like, so it's like a Mega Man-ish action game with rogue-like. So strange. It is. Because, well, that building design thing is interesting. And I like the um, the little bit of nostalgia that it has, the little feel there, kind of giving it like Sonic, Sega, kind of, you know. That whole side scroller platform situation, not the best graphics, like what, 16 bit looking, not 16 bit, but you know what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. that's it for this week, Brian. What's going on with you, man? Um, I just put out an episode. Yes, I'm going to write this. <laughs> put out an episode today. Um, talk and play Blurry Cast, you know. Uh, we're celebrating um, Black History Month early with the Alabama uh, Doc Brawl. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, got some cool things to say about um, games because, listen, Marvel's Midnight nice Suns is really good. And I wasn't expecting to like it this much, but I'm glad I did because I might get some of the DLC for that game. I've been mm-hmm. playing it a lot more. Um, as of late, because I'm getting farther in the story. So I give my um opinions on those as well as some new things Pokemon is doing. Or not new, they kind of bring back some old stuff, but that's happening. Music was very robust in between episodes. So I was talking about some things there. Um, even to the point where I had to separate some things because I wanted to give a I want to give a sturdy review of uh, Travis Scott's new uh, Utopia album. So that's going to have its own separate piece of audio. Okay. And then as far as uh, the watch list is concerned in the episode, I saw the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie. Finally, I had some critiques. Okay. And uh, they cloned Tyrone. Great movie. But other okay. things there, we'll talk about it on the uh new episode talk about okay. blurred cast. Right, well, make sure you guys check that out definitely new episode, talk and play blurred cast uh let's see so it's only geek podcast episode 157 is out now it's a convention theme so it's all uh interviews from various conventions i've been to over the past couple of months interviews oh, from uh big look comic con nova back in april um also from the mini con hosted by the audacious black femme uh interview brandy who is the audacious black femme as well and then i also um interviewed uh Brittany, uh marriott blunt who is the founder of chromacon which is happening in baltimore oh. uh next year and then in addition to that i also reviewed a new fragrance um mandarina duck black on the podcast but then i also dropped a video on youtube for it as well early in this week so those things are there this week and of course you're not with soturian geek and not with talk and play of course you're with nerds of the world make sure you follow us on twitter at the nrw on instagram at news wednesday and of course you're currently on youtube so make sure you like share and subscribe